Let's have a look. AD Shaco is getting buffed. Backstab crit and EAD ratio, mana cost. J Space AD went up by three. His melee W damage per tick is higher on the fucking shock thing. His melee Q damage is higher as well. Wait, is it melee or melee? Is it melee or melee? What is it? Because I always say melee. Or is it melee? Am I supposed to say melee? Melee, may I lay these nuts on your forehead? Shut the fuck up, it's melee. Right, Lissandra, base HP went up a bit. Q slow is up a bit. That's actually quite big. WCD is down. Scion, base HP is up. Q max damage is up as well. What the fuck? Like, is Paus just gonna get rank 1 or what? Is he gonna get rank 1? The fuck? Zaya, base attack speed is up. Attack speed ratio is up. TF buffs, actually a good buff for once. That champ's fucking dead. So, oh, now where's Leeson? W blue card AP ratio is up. Red card ratio is up. Hmm. Aatrox. His passive damage is down. His E healing during R is down. His R movement speed is down. Hmm. Mundo nerfs, good. Fiora nerfs, good. Cassante nerfs. I want to see more than like five lines. I want to see him fucking gutted to the ground. I don't really know what these numbers represent for Cassante because I don't play him, but he better be dead. Ramus nerfs, good. I've seen enough fucking Ramuses running around one shotting everyone. Yumi Q damage is down. Wait, you you can whoa, Yumi Q damage is down later on. It scales a lot less. Empower damage is also down. AD growth on Zeri is down, Q damage is down. Can we just, like, why can't we just remove half these champs in the nerfs? Like, just get rid of Cassante, Fiora, Remus, Yumi, and Zeri, and everyone's happy. Like, there's no problems. The day that happens is the day that the world becomes uh, sane again. Wait, there's a second page? Oh my god. Axiomark, that, cha that, that, that item still exists. Horizon Focus, <laughs> AP up. Rod of Ages, health up. Winter's Approach, gold down. Tenacity is now changed per stack. And it's nerfed. Jack Show, gold's up by 100. Resists. Eighty plus seven percent max HP. Wait, the drain amount is changing from three percent max HP to eighty plus seven percent max HP. Wait, am I? Wait. Pog, let's go, man. Wait. Wait what? Huh? Wait. <laughs> you get so it's not fifteen percent. It's not fifteen percent. Total resists at max stacks. It's twenty percent bonus resists at max stacks. I don't know what the numbers are there, but I guess you're getting less. Um, but the drain has gone from three percent max HP to seven percent plus eighty. So it's going to do more damage, but you're going to have less resistances, I guess. And it's a tiny bit more expensive. Let them cook. Dude, I've let them cook for 12 years. Every time they cook, the fucking kitchen's on fire, little bro. Ah, uh, it's to help tanks, not bruisers. Yeah, I see. Seraph's Embrace, up. Gold is up by 400. Ability Power is up by 20. Ability Haste is up by 10. And it grants AP again. What the fuck? There's no more Ability Haste on Seraph's Embrace. They went back to AP. Oh, and they give you a shield now. Oh my god, man. They've basically reverted Seraphs to what it was, but now I guess the shield doesn't look like an active. Doesn't look like an active. It looks like lifeline passive, granting a shield. Probably some kind of like, if you die shield or something. I don't know. Rise is back. <laughs> what is the comments? Buff Elise XD. Buff Rek'Sai. Thank you for indirectly nerfing Riven. When can we expect buffs to Akali? Can we make it so Velkos' spells don't dissipate on death sometimes? There isn't one single rational person who thinks Scion should be buffed right now. K 
tail buffs QOL changes. You buff three Cassian items, which is already broken and cringe to play against. No wonder it's only been the case for 12 years. Could you guys hotfix him at least? <laughs> He's molding. Absolute molder. <laughs> 